Yeah. I was reading this really interesting uh, speech from Arnold Schwarzenegger. And yeah. uh, he was like, I, I found it pretty inspirational, the fact that um, he was like giving his story about, you know, when you really want something, you, you can't just give half effort and you're going to have to sacrifice time. That's the one for, way that you can be successful is, is putting in time and showing up. And so, you know, like what he done is he was very similar where he would go very, very long hours um, with no, little sleep. And he said, you know, most people, when you say how much sleep do you need, they would say eight hours. And what he done is he only had six hours sleep. And he said, you know, people say you need eight hours, but he was uh, surviving on six hours sleep. And then he would go to the gym and he would spend a lot of time in the gym. And then straight from the gym, he would go and do acting lessons. And then straight from finishing at his acting lessons, he would go and, you know, get, do whatever he's doing sort of thing. But for him, like he, the way he managed to succeed um, and he obviously came from nothing as well, but he, oh, um, yeah, he came from nothing. Though. Yeah. And he done only six hours sleep a day and said that if he was like most people wanting eight hours sleep a day, then he wouldn't have been able to do half the stuff because he recognized that time is um, needed to be successful. You need to put time into what you want. You're not just going to be able to become successful. You're not just going to be able to um, yeah, basically become like uh, good at what you do with, with not putting in the time and because he was obviously had lots of things going on he couldn't just do one thing the whole day yeah he i just remember that he was saying that he sacrificed his sleeping timer to only have six hours to to yeah. make sure he was up in time to do his daily routines of uh you know for him like gym acting or, or whatever he done but um you know yeah that 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 stuck with me that he was like yeah no he uh, he sacrificed a lot of time in terms of sleep to get where to here right. obviously it pays off in the end but those early days where maybe yeah. you're sacrificing time and you're not seeing the returns uh is pretty hard to stick with it and that's where most people are going to give up because maybe they do sacrifice their time for a month and then they sit, get to the end of the month and they're like well you know what's the point in continuing maybe like trading they sacrifice their time for a month and then they finish the month and they've lost all their trades and then they give up saying, well, this isn't for me. Whereas the attitude is, if, you've, if you give up after the month, you're a loser. You know, you, you know you're just going to be a loser. You cannot just give up after, after a short period of time. You have to like stick with it. And obviously, you know, be it, it might take a year, it might take two years. But giving up is 100% failure. So if you like stick with the grind, if you actually keep sacrificing your time, but have a greater goal and a greater vision that this is going to work, this is going to pay off. Um, you know, the only person that can believe your dreams and goals is yourself. If, if you don't believe it, no, who's going to believe your, who's going to believe it? No, nobody is going to back you up if you don't do it yourself. So I guess like you have to have that dedication. You have to have that drive um, to really say, you know, I am going to do this. I am going to succeed. And by sacrificing your time is a good way of proving to yourself that, you know, it's all well and good saying, I'm going to be a trader. I'm going to succeed. But if, 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 you know, you can say it, it doesn't mean it's going to come true. So unless you actually sacrifice something, unless you actually put in the effort and the time, then just saying that is not going to make it happen. So that's like one thing that a lot of people come, you know, a lot of people in the group will be like, you know, I really want to be a trader. I say, okay, then you really want to be a trader. How, 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 how have you watched all my videos? Oh no, I don't have the time to watch the videos. What you do? <laughs> I don't have the time to watch. All <laughs> That's a real genuine laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because you know my history is I've been doing entrepreneurship for like the past eleven years, and that, yeah, no, yeah for cool. me, it's it's a uh, <clears throat> it's really awesome. Um, be, to be able to talk to you guys because it's like here's the path I've already laid it out for you and it's not like you're faking it or anything right I mean this is you know <clears throat> we're seeing all of the proof and um, it's kind of like put at least for me it's put me at ease to where it's just like just follow this and you know you can have what they have at the end of the day and, yeah. and so it's like, that's to me, it's just kind of the thing that allows me to say, okay, this commitment and these sacrifices are worth it because at the end of the day, you know, they were able to make it work, especially from Daniel's point of view, where it's like, you came from somebody who didn't even know what a stop loss was to now you're like, um, 
you know, doing these thousand dollar trades or whatever it is, and you're not even thinking twice about it. Yeah. And that's the, that's the thing that gets me the most is, uh, I love watching Daniel for you. I love watching your attitude and you, and how you approach the questions of, of money and just how, like, even today on the, you know, before we started this call and you showed me the short that you just took and how you just were like, this is just an average everyday situation for me. Whereas if I would have just made, I don't know, what was it like 11 grand or whatever it is in an hour, I would have, I would have jumped out of my apartment and screwed, like gone up to the first person I saw like, do you know, I just made 11,000, <laughs> you know, like I would have just lost my shit because mm -hmm. Like that just doesn't even like I. It's not part grand, of your reality right now. It, well, it's not even not. It's not that it's not part of my reality. It's the thing that amazes me the most is the the uh, attitude that Daniel has, where it's it's uh, it, it's it, it's so deeply ingrained to your reality that this is who you are and this is what you do that it doesn't even phase you anymore as in like uh there's no question who you are daniel you know what i mean like yeah. there's no questioning it you've you've reached such a high level in the development of the person that you wanted to develop that it's like it's not even a question of who the fuck you are anymore and it's like this is just what i do you know yeah. I run these motherfucking charts and I make money. Like that's what I do. And, yeah. and, and uh, like also too, when you, you know, like I said, I'm watching your streams and somebody's like,